This may be the worst fragrance video you'll ever see on a wet shaving channel. <laughs> Hi, my name's Ken. Welcome to Ken Shaving and BSing. For those who are not usual subscribers or viewers of my channel, my channel is mostly about wet shaving, but I've been off the grid for a bit except for a few friends. If you notice, I've got some facial growth. I'm experimenting with a beard for about another seven days. Next Saturday, I'll see what I wanna do with it. But I was tagged by my buddy Neil in Miami, also known in the fragrance community on his YouTube channel, Mr. Miami Cuddles. He tagged, he asked me and says, hey, Ken, can I tag you about, see what your most complimented fragrance is? I said, yeah, sure, I'll play along because I haven't really talked much about my foray into the fragrance world. And um, it's just something I'm, I'm getting into. I'm watching a lot of the big, the big hitters on YouTube and I watch Neil and I am the antithesis of Neil. I don't do any editing. So you're getting barely backlit, you're getting me. You're getting no production value whatsoever, but as a friend of mine in Australia described it, it's called a just point and shoot gorilla filming, you know, so you just go with it. Now let's talk about my number one complimented fragrance. Neil already knows what it is. He says he's, it, it smells like a Band-Aid vibe. I'm not going to disagree <laughs> because in the offset, this one does, but most of you know it. Many of you love it. It is Parfums de Marley Layton. I have both Leighton and Leighton Exclusif, but Leighton has been, was a winner for me. And the short version is in November uh, 2018, right before Thanksgiving, I, I um, through, a, through a dating site, I, I met a very nice, very attractive lady, and she loved the scent of this on me, two to three sprays. That was it. It was the first time meeting. I didn't want to overpower. And I wore it every time, except one time I wore Exclusif in a cooler evening to try it out. And she still preferred Leighton over this. You know, you get the cardamom, you get the apple notes, you get the other things. I'm not going to go into all the all the notes. You can go watch umpteen videos about Parfums to Marley Leighton. But Leighton, unsolicited every time with this lady it, it was like my signature i started wearing like a one to two sprays day if i saw her two to three in the evening it projects it lasts it has all the performance you want and i'm sorry neil <laughs> this is my number one complimented fragrance mostly because of the one particular lady it was a winner every time and I've, I would say with the close runners up, and yes, I have Dua fragrances. I have designer, I have some niche, I have inspired expressions, clones, whatever you want to call them. Uh, Supernova garnered me a few unsolicited compliments since I've had it. No, that was from a female coworker. And otherwise, I've had one or two guys ask me, coworkers or whatever, so what are you wearing, man? That's good. And obviously, Dylan Blue was one of them. Savage EDT was one of them. So they're, they're off. And Aqua Amara, Neil, sorry. Aqua Amara works on me. I know it doesn't sell, and it was, it was a hype beast in the community. That's one of the first ones I bought when I went down the rabbit hole. Now I own the 3.4, the 1.7, and the travel sprayer. So I got the daddy, the mama, and the baby. <laughs> but let's go back to the original intent. This works, and... Although I'm in Texas, South Central Texas, where it's hot, manage your sprays, great in the evening. Most, I think a lot of people are going to like this one. Um, it works for me, I actually, because of, I'm not seeing this person anymore, sadly. Um, it's hard for me to even wear because it garnered so many compliments and it has such an attachment <laughs> to her. Um, good memories but a uh, little little tough to think about you know when I'm like I reach for this bottle and I go ah laments but that's part of the whole fragrance experience whether what it does for you or the memories it creates around you so Parfums de Marley Layton is my most complimented uh, fragrance of all I own but I really I really enjoy it and um I'm not going to follow through and tag anyone because I don't really know anybody in the fragrance community yet that hasn't already been tagged. I'm friends with like Chad from Gentleman's Journey, Neil, of course, um, a couple of the other guys, like uh, Manny from Cascade Sense, but only through Facebook because he saw other folks. Dan, you know, Mr. Smelly, um, again, he actually uh, subscribes to my shaving channel 
And if you do subscribe to my shaving channel, uh, I talk about a lot of different stuff. I'm kind of like Chad. If you watch Chad, sometimes topics come up. Uh, some videos you may disagree with in terms of subject matter or when I was a little too profane. Forgive me. But um, if you want to subscribe, Ken Shaving BSing, hey, to check it out. I'll be incorporating more fragrances into my shaves. And when I decide to do what to do with the beard here, I may shave to keep the lines good. I, um, we'll see. I'm looking at my beard in the camera, so you have to forgive me. Um, but take a look. Um, let me know what you think. Um, if you love Parfums of Marley Layton, let me know. I've smelled Ojan, I've smelled Herod, uh, Carlisle. I have to admit, those really aren't for me. And I think it's just because I'm not as big of those sweet tobacco notes that it comes. They're very good. I'm not knocking them. I just don't think they're quite for me. I got a, I went to Macy's and I, or Nordstrom. And I got, um, sorry, Nordstrom. And I got a Percival. I took, a, I took a, um, a, a, got a good nose on that. I'm sorry. If you follow Demi Rawling and and her sister, she loves her sister loves Percival. I don't quite get it. And then Sedley. I like the opening on Sedley. The dried down's okay, but definitely like the opening. A little bit of that minty cooling vibe on top on top of the citrus. Um, but I put my nose on some of the others, and not all of them for me, but. Again, there's a lot of creed that not all of them for me either. A lot of the older school sense, minus Green Irish Tweed, Aventus. Um, I need to retry Viking. But again, so I'm learning. This is I'm fairly new to this. I got a good collection. I got a lot more designer than I do niche. But um, this one is my number one. It it gives you everything you want in terms of performance, projection. Your your sillage is there. Uh, it it just. It's, it's going to work if you like the scent and you get past that initial. And it is kind of a weird band-aid-y kind of smell. Neil's not wrong. But let it settle. It's that initial, give it give it 30 minutes <laughs> on, on your skin and see how it works. But anyway, I'll stop boring you. Y'all take care. My name's Ken. This is Ken Shaving and BSing. Welcome. Fragrance community, uh, glad to see you. And sorry for the name dropping. That's just mentioning that who I follow. I follow a lot of folks on YouTube in the fragrance world on top of... Um, all my friends in, in the shaving community. But um, if you like very poor editing, no editing, point, shoot, and go um, kind of stuff and just ram random babbling as I talk about whatever's on my mind, check me out. Take care. Thanks, Neil. Hey, I'm sorry, Neil. <laughs> no apologies, but I'm sorry. Not sorry. <laughs> Take care. Bye.